Hello chess fans, today I will surprise you with the rare line in two knights defense. An expected variation in the well-known position will help you to gain more points as black. A lot of amazing opening traps, a lot of beautiful ideas, I will everything show you in this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's start our journey to this interesting opening variation. Four knights begins after e4, e5, so we are coming to the very, very well-known theoretical position, knight f6, knight g5 is the main move. It's well-known that d5 is working here, e takes d5, for sure, I hope you know that you can't do knight takes d5 because of knight f7, you can see the videos about this on my channel as well. The main line here is knight goes e5, also very well-known line, but I'm coming up with the Ulverstadt variation b5 in this situation very interesting and unexpected by your opening 100 percent according to the lee chess database the three most popular moves are bishop takes b5 d takes c6 and bishop goes b3 we will uncover them and also i will show you the hardest approach for black from white so let's start with the bishop takes b5 what could be more natural than just to take the pawn our idea was to distract the bishop and we can go queen takes d5 taking the pawn and what to do now in this situation on knight c3 i'm ready to take on g2 and some end games like this are completely okay for me i'm preparing castle long and that's it so returning back knight c3 it's not an approach and the main line is bishop takes c6 queen takes c6 and here the situation is already interesting so what could be castle short looks logical and uh queen f3 looks logical Let's start with the castle short, because it's really the most popular approach according to the Lee Chess database. And here I would show you the brilliance. Bishop goes b7, very logical, we want to have those pieces on this diagonal to attack on g2. So white played queen f3, e4. In this position what to do is white. On rook e1 it looks like a pin, I am calmly have the bishop e7 with following castle idea and black's totally good. The full compensation because of the pair of bishops, the position that's easier to play as black, in my vision again. So returning back, queen b3 could be the main approach, because now white basically wants to take on f7, right? It looks, it looks very, very dangerous. But now we are coming with a castle long, and this position is really, really complicated. And most of the times, white decided to take here on f7. That is already losing move, surprisingly. What is the trick now? e3. The point is that I want to go queen takes g2 checkmate. Looks nice. f3 to block it. e2. Rook e1. For a while it looks like white stopped our attack. But the old beauty is coming up. Bishop c5. Chunk. King h1. Knight g4. So now I really want to go knight f2 winning this position. And the main approach for white looks like h3. To have on knight f2, king goes h2. Looks like white almost saved the situation, but that's not a true. What black can do is really amazing. Rook goes to d3. The idea is really unusual, but very, very interesting. The point is, if you takes with the queen, I can go knight f2, with the fork and grab the queen. But if you're trying to avoid this with c takes d3, because other way I really want to take on f3 as well, c takes d3. I have a magnificent tactical idea, queen takes f3. And if you will follow, like that's absolutely winning already. Computer suggests to go queen takes b7 for white. But if you will take here, I can have bishop takes f3 with a surprising checkmate. I was so shocked when I found out this variation. Very interesting line. So that's how could you win in 17 moves as black against your opponents. And we should return back in this situation. And where I want to return is directly after queen takes c6 in the opening. And we spoke about the queen f3 move. That basically probably should be the best. And here the lines are also very interesting. It looks like black can't avoid this tension with the rook. But we are enough brave to play queen takes c2. Queen takes c8. Queen takes c1. That's our trick. King e2. Queen c4. Everything is forced now. And what's the idea? If king goes e1, yes, we can force the check, but it's better to go surprisingly queen a6. The point of this position, 
that we are having a full total compensation. For example, after knight c3, looks logical, bishop e7, following by castle, blacks are completely okay because we sacrifice for the development. Our king will be good after the castle. This king may never castle. He already used to play in this game. And because of pair of bishops, we will punish white with the attack. So that looks really very amazing. Instead of this, d3 looks the best line. But now queen g4 check. The knight is under attack. So knight d3 looks logical. Bishop goes d6. Our idea is still the same. Still the same. To do the castle and continue the attack for compensation. And computer thinks that the best line for a white is to go queen c6 with the idea that after bishop d7 white can repeat the moves in this situation you can still repeat the moves or you can try king e7 computer doesn't like this move but practically i analyze this position i think it's okay for a black to play like this still this king is more danger than this king and our rook will come to the center to play and our attack is just started so i mean those lines are really so interesting and so annoying for white. So we dealt with the bishop b5 move, the most popular move, right? And now we know that directly after b5, we are not afraid of bishop b5. What else? On d takes c6, we can just play b takes c6. And in some lines like this, where we can have the problems, like knight c3, queen c6, looks completely okay for black. So d takes c6 is not a serious approach against us. What else? Bishop goes b3. The move number three from the uh, by the Lee chess rating. So knight goes to d4. It's a very very typical idea to go knight d4. We will see this in some other lines. And the point now that if white will follow c3, trying to kick out, we can just take 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 take, and um, such a game is again very good for us pretty the same would be if on move six white would prefer to play bishop e2 we still can go knight d4 our knight is very very massive here and in case of some c3 i can take take and take on d5 again totally okay for black no worries about the position but what is the strongest for white or is this position is so so good for black basically the strongest move is only number four according to Lee Chess database. Four percent of the games only been played by this move, but that's really strong. Bishop goes f1. The idea is that after knight goes to d4, that is kind of a main move. The old line, let's call it like this. The bishop is not hanging on b3 or e2, and here white can play c3 easily to kick out this knight. The the main line is goes like knight takes d5. Here, yes, white can go knight f7, but in this case, king f7 takes takes. This position is complicated and could be playable for black. Let's follow the main line, because after knight d5, main line is to take. And here, more or less forced, we have an endgame. What do I mean? Yeah, surprisingly, we have an endgame. Queen g5, check. King d8. I don't like that the king on d8 here for black. Cancel bishop b7. But still, we have some ideas of g2 attacking. That's why queen f3, rook b8 to protect the bishop on b7, and feel free to jump with the knight from d5, takes knight f3, everything is forced here, queen h3, we need to take, 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 and after d4, I'm not sure this end game is good f enough for black. Should be still the advantage for white. The center is the center, and white's having the center, and the king on d8 is weak. For example, after like, I don't know, bishop is 7 I can return with my bishop a bit, just not to be attacked by the rook on b8. And like after knight h4, just to avoid some jump like knight f3, white can still play d5. This position is, in my vision, it's dangerous for black. So again, the center is the center, I don't want to joke with the center. But, as I told before, knight d4 is the old line. And instead of playing knight d4 in this position, I would prefer the approach used by Magnus Carlsen. Knight takes d5 in this situation. So the line is bishop b5, bishop b7, and black's trying to play for compensation. It was the game Gukesh Carlsen in this year. Let's see. On queen h5, I'm ready to play queen d7 to cover my f7 pawn and probably think about the castle long at some moment. So d4, e takes d4, castle. That looks very, very logical. Very typical gameplay by white because they're often trying to unlock the e-line to attack in this two knights opening, right? 
bishop e7, queen h5, we forced to play g6, queen h6, queen d7. And yeah, that was the game, some games here, rook e1, a6, bishop e4, queen e5. This position is at least complicated. Yes, computer loves more white side, but first of all, your opponent needs to know bishop f1 in general, and secondly, to find out here the moves. So even Gukesh, if it will return back on the move 10, instead of queen h5, he just moved the knight back to f3. That looks also logical for white. And the game was like this, takes, takes, knight takes d4, bishop b7, and black's having a compensation for this pawn. The pair of bishops is the pair of bishops. After knight d2, rook e8, finally, Carlsen received a nice, nice position, very, very playable. So when Magnus used to play this line, and by the way, to add what I said about this variation, if we will go um, before, after bishop f1, I mean, in this position also looks interesting to go queen takes d5. It was not so much games. The idea after knight c3, queen c5, bishop goes b5. I want to go bishop e7. So black's trying again to save the compensation. Honestly, the position after d3, castle, castle, knight d4, bishop c4, bishop b7, still can be playable for black, but I mostly like the Carlson approach. But again, you have a big choice in this variation. You can uh, deeply analyze it by yourself as well before playing the games so interesting approach b5 in general i hope that uh, this video helped you to uncover this dynamic and interesting idea and i want to say good luck for you and win more games as black and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel